Hello everybody, this is Colin Biedenkep from TFDI Design. I am the lead programmer on the 717. I wanted to take a second to show a feature we added over the last week, but first I'm going to give some background. Back during our first public flight, we had a menu in the top of the sim that you could use to access the shared cockpit dialog. And although it was a dialog, it wasn't the most intuitive system and really didn't provide the amount of interaction that we wanted. Six months later, now we've got the GPU, we've got auto rudder, MCDU keyboard input, more aircraft sharing options than we had before, and more things to come. And that menu is starting to become very clunky and difficult to use. So we started looking at other options. We didn't want to put anything in the MCDU because we have a policy of not adding anything to the systems that's not there in the real plane. So we liked it to go the route that some real world airlines are going and put a tablet in the cockpit. This tablet can be brought up by clicking it in the tray and clicking the screen and then turns it on. There are three applets on it. The on-demand applet gives you access to your on-demand settings such as ground power unit, your external air and wheel trucks once they're available, auto rudder, MCDU keyboard input, and a couple of statistics to help with entering data into the MCDU. The crew applet will show your current aircraft sharing status and if you're not connected, will give you the ability to connect to a specific role if you are connected, you'll see those options as well as the ability to change your role. But the applet that I think is going to have the biggest impact is the documents applet. This will allow you to load a picture from the hard drive and view it here on the tablet in SIM. For example, a checklist. I'll zoom in here because this is a very big picture. But here now we have a checklist inside the cockpit right here ready to go. Let's say for example we want to do an airport diagram. We go into our charts. KPHO, and this is a folder structure you can define on your own. We'll open up the APD, and there it is. Now we have the PHL APD open. There are two tablets, one on the left and one on the right. They both operate independently. So, for example, we could have the co pilot have the checklist open on this side, and the captain have the APD open on this side. The question that I want to answer now is the performance impact of these. We've been very careful from the beginning with this to make sure that they don't render any more often than they have to. In some cases, these won't even refresh for several minutes at a time, assuming that the data that the show hasn't changed. And when they do refresh, it's only a single draw. As well, any data that's not being used actively is unloaded immediately. So for example, I click back here, and that picture is already out of the memory, which keeps the vast consumption down to a minimum. The performance impact of these two tablets is negligible, if any but I do think it adds a lot to the cockpit and allows us to control settings in a way that otherwise would have been very difficult. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.